Welcome back everyone to another Pokemon opening. I'm Turtle and happy early Sword and Shield release day. In case you didn't know, uh, most LGSs that do pre-releases and if you're not sure where they do pre-release, just go to Google Pokemon Event Locator and you can use their website to find a place that does events and if they did a pre-release, most likely they will be able to sell products starting today. So if you haven't done so, give a couple LGSs a call, see if you can buy some, then get out there and pick up some Sword and Shield. These, this new set is really fun so far. And this is the Zacian Elite Trainer Box. Again, they kind of have a different uh, shape of the box, which I kind of like. Everything is nice and organized. And now we have the Zacian sleeves, which I do like how, you know, it can, when you have the light at the right angle, you can see Zacian, but when it's just like this, it's kind of boring. And then we have all of our usual goodies. It's a code card. And once again, I do like these dice. So instead of just having like regular D6s, you get one, uh, two of each of 10 through 60, and then to 120, and then to 180. <clears throat> it's a cool idea. And here we have eight packs of Sword and Shield, and we're actually going to be starting uh, our giveaway series for February. And I've been thinking about it, like what is the best way to do it? I've considered things like doing one pack giveaway per video and trying to optimize things as far as the cost of shipping. And so, cause you can send like a single pack with just a regular stamp, but I think instead what we'll do is once a week we'll do a giveaway. And so this first week we're going to give away four packs and the number of four comes from the, I believe it's the maximum number of packs we can do with a first class envelope, which I believe the max weight is three and a half ounces. And I believe that will support eight or four packs. So that's what we're gonna do this week and more details on that to come. In our first pack we have a Krabby is our reverse. Uh, so far I'm a fan of this kind of like the reverse fold pattern. And then Intellion, Silent Shots. Oh, okay, this is the, I think this one I'm more excited about. During pre-release, the Intellions were basically going nuts just because of how many trainers it can uh, tutor up. But this one's actually really cool. You can get attack the hand of your opponent as well as go for the energy. And once again, it's super energy efficient. Um, although, yeah, just to get all those supporters or trainer cards, it's hard to overcome that, but I do like that one. And then the attack the other Intellion had was 120 and I think deal 20 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. But Sword and Shield is basically out for everyone at this point. Hope everyone is able to find an LGS and get some cards. Quick Ball, nice. Garvantula. I'm not sure if there's a secret or a Quick Ball. If so, that would be a great card to pull. I think the one I want the most right now would be that Full Art Marnie. Switch for a reverse, it's kind of cool. And then a Wobbuffet V. This is our second Wobbuffet we pulled. Looks pretty good uh, quality. And with that gritty comeback, just swap all the damage counters from the two active Pokemon in Shadow Bind for 70. Your opponent cannot retreat. There's a couple of those effects. I think like the Dreadnought has one. The evolution of the Probopus says something like that. All right, so yeah, this is an elite trainer box, so you only get eight packs, and yeah, the ratio could be anything. So far, we have one ultra rare, which is a very solid start. Metal saucer. It's kind of like the dark patch for metal. Probably some busted things you can make with that. Is this going to be the time when the fire decks kind of chill out and incoming the metal types? Noctowl with that funny attack carry off just yeet one of your opponent's bench Pokemon back into their deck and then a very vanilla Ninetales, although the art is kind of cool All right, so we will do kind of this will be like the giveaway video for our first week since it is the early release time period so in order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the video and Poke Gear, we'll put that up there. Pseudo Wood, that's a funny art. And let's go with leave a comment. We'll do the good old fashioned hashtag turtle giveaway in a comment and you'll be entered. We will choose the winner on Friday. And that's basically how we'll do it. We'll, I'm not sure what the giveaway will be each week. We'll probably try to mix it up another knockdown with carry off. 
but we will pick that winner Friday morning. So again, that's for four packs of Sorted Shield. If you're in the US, uh, I think that'll cost sense. <laughs> I, just because I understand the shipping costs for international, we'll have to figure it out. Alright, Team Yell Grunt. These guys are always kind of cool, just uh, take away energy. But a lot of Pokemon can do that now, so maybe it's unnecessary to use your supporter for turn. It's the Chip. Wooloo. A Vulpix is our reverse. And then here's that Grapplock. Uh, yeah, so, oh no, wait, this is, I misunderstood. This attack makes your attacks cost two colorless more. That's pretty cool. However, it doesn't look like this thing until it leaves the active spot, the random Pokemon. It's harder to attack, and, it, oh, and it can retreat, so it does both. However, can apply more than once. So I guess you could try to lock your opponent in there, but a simple switch will undo all that. And it doesn't deal in damage. I wonder if this did just, like, a little bit of damage. Could have made that, like, a pretty efficient prison strategy. But the fact that you're kind of like just conceding your turn, unless you're trying to mill your opponent, I'm not sure that'll work. Then you need to evolve it. All right, we have three packs remaining. Once again, if you're looking for some packs, just call up some LGSs, especially if they hold events, and figure out if you can buy some stuff from them. Ghastly, Ponyard, Sizzlepeed, Yamper, Clopus, ah, the Judo, the Meeseeks Head Turtle. Not a big fan of this turtle. Toxic Croak. I believe this uh, kind of powers up poison. Additional two two damage counters for your poison effects. Wonder if yeah, that one is a stage one again. I think like the Viper was kind of like one damage, but at least it was a basic, a little bit easier to set up. All right, two packs remaining. Let's get one more good hit. Let's get like a full art or something. So far, our pull rates have been pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Oh yeah, these ETBs can go anywhere. I would say for par is going to be that one hit that we already got. Now we just want one more. Ooh, nice! Our first Chinchino. We didn't get this in pre-release. And we finally have that make do slash trade ability. Energy says attach your basic energy of discard pile to one your bench Pokemon. That's not bad, but I don't think you want this thing to be inactive with only 90 HP. And then we have a Thievil. So, Alright, we did get a reverse Chinchino, which is very cool. And on to our last pack. So once again, if you do want to enter the giveaway, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Bell for notifications too. So, uh, so we will be doing these throughout the month of February. And um, yeah, make sure you like the video and leave a comment with hashtag turtle giveaway. Alright, our last pack. Can we make this a very good opening with one more hit? Ooh, Pokemon Catcher. Ah, rip. Great catchers, man. They don't affect V, so I think they're basically done. And back to this 50-50 chance to do it. But we did get the reverse one, which is cool. And, oh, nice. Snorlax V. We already got the V Max. So we finished the Snorlaxes of the, I think it's just going to be the, I'm not sure how many varieties there are, but we have like the... We do have one of the VMAXs one, and I do really like this card. For 3 energy, you can swallow, use the attack Swallow, uh, 60 damage, and heal whatever amount of damage you do. So if you can increment that somehow, they'll do more, obviously. And then falling down, this Pokemon is now asleep in classic Snorlax fashion. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but if you have the Galarian Rapidash, then you can fall asleep, and it'll prevent that. Pretty cool. Very nice. So we did get our two hits, so another successful opening. And um, yeah, make sure you enter the giveaway and stay tuned for future ones throughout the month. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.